Hi guys! So it's just me today, Krista's not here, and I had a kind of strange idea for a video. I wanted to give it a try and see what you guys would think. So this is going to be our first ever pet haul and maybe mini lookbook if I can get them to wear the costumes. So let's get started. So the other day we went to our local PetSmart and we picked out a few cute items for Halloween for each dog. I have three dogs, I'm sure you've seen them in videos before, like running around in the background. I have Aladdin who is a Shih Tzu. I have Ella who is a Shih Tzu Lhasa Apso. Apso? I think so. And I have Todd who is a Rat Terrier Shih Tzu. So they all have Shih Tzu in them and they're all little and they have the curly tail. So I decided to get them a few items for Halloween so that they could dress up. They haven't had a new costume in a few years so I figured it's time for a change. And we went with a kind of theme. I think you'll get it when you see them. Also, I know I'm dressed like a cat today, but I didn't actually have any dog clothing that was like appropriate for this. I have a dog dress, but it's freezing outside, so I'm not going to wear that today. So the first item that we picked up was just kind of an impulse buy, but I figured they kind of deserve it. They've been good lately. They're being really bad right now, if you can hear them in the background, crying and trying to get out of their makeshift camp over there. But um, I saw these and I thought they were really adorable, and it is Claudia's Canine Cuisine Cookies. It says premium gourmet dog cookies and I'm not sure if you can see in there we have we've saved a sprinkle cookie and one with yogurt they had a couple with yogurt and the dogs have already tried them they've already eaten like half of this container and they love them and they haven't gotten sick hasn't affected them negatively or anything and I just really like the packaging of this also I think it's adorable it really caught my eye in the store and made me want to buy it because it just looks like something you would pick up in a bakery but for your dog <laughs> It's really hard to find like dog safe treats out there in the world now. I don't know if you follow all the like um, made in China stuff, but there's a lot of like controversy on what is safe to feed dogs regarding treats and food and everything. And I saw these and it said that they are made in the USA and they are made with wholesome ingredients, which is, I mean I read the label, it has like peanut butter, it has things that we would actually eat ourselves. And that to me seems safer than something with like a bunch of chemicals in it. So this box is around $9, it's a little bit more pricey than your normal dog treats that you would just grab, but think about what you're getting, you're getting something that actually has better ingredients for them, and things that I would personally probably try myself if nobody was looking. I was thinking about trying one of these, and I haven't done it, I think they would fight me for it though. Now on to my favorite part, costumes. You're going to get the idea of the theme pretty quick. Costume number one is for Todd, and it is this. Dragon. And I love this. There was only one. It didn't have a tag on it, so I don't know what happened. But I love the wings. I love the way they like shimmer. And this face is adorable. When the dog wears it, it actually looks like the dog is being eaten by a dragon. But then when you see him from the side, it's the greatest thing ever. It's like you have a dragon running around. If I could have bought three of these, I would have, and I would just make them wear them all the time because this entertains me endlessly. And it's adorable. And actually, it's not that, it doesn't seem like it bothers him that much because everything stays up on his back, basically. It doesn't have legs or anything. And he left it on for Halloween for a good while. He didn't try to take it off or bite it or anything. He didn't have a problem with it. The one thing I would say about um, PetSmart's costumes is the hoods that are supposed to be heads are made very small. So like each of the costumes that I got, I got the size for my dog and the hood still wouldn't fit. Like, it just stays behind their neck. I mean, I don't think they would wear it anyway because dogs don't like things on their head, but it just, I mean, you can still see it, but it's kind of like this when you see it. So, that's my one con about these. So when I went to PetSmart, all of the costumes were 50% to 75% off because it was already getting close to Halloween. I waited really late to go shopping. So this costume in particular was only $10 which is really good because usually they're around like 20 I think. So we got this one for about half price, I think. It has hair on it from when he wore it. I really like the horns too, like that's cool. So costume number two was something I wasn't really sure about. I'm not really sure I like these types of costumes, but going with the theme, this is a princess riding a unicorn. And this is Ella's costume because it's pink and girly and I thought it'd be cute. And the dog wears it like this and then the person kind of like bounces when the dog walks. 
and it's hilarious like to watch this princess it's almost like she's drunk because she'll be on her side sometimes and my dog was dragging her face across the wall when she was walking again the hood is really small like this doesn't look like it would fit my dog at all the um, the body of the costume fits really well. It's adjustable, but these were, it said that it was one size, and I'm thinking, not all dogs are one size. I don't know if you guys have losses at home, but they do this thing where they stand up on their back legs, like they're walking like a person. So this was perfect for her, because when she stood up, it looked like the horse was rearing up, and I love that. I think that's adorable. Now, this costume says that it was only like $4. Which is incredible to me because I think this was also marked at 20 or 15 or something like that. It was around that area. So this one I think we got 75% off. I'm not sure. I wish I would have like written it down. I'm not entirely sure. But this one says that it was around $4 for this. And this entertains me all night. I could just watch her walk around in this like no matter what. Last but not least, we have Aladdin's costume. And he's really tiny, like if you see him, he's a very small dog. So we ended up finding him a cat costume. And look how great this is. It's a goldfish, but it like shimmers. And it really caught my eye in the store. We were gonna buy a mouse costume because he's little and it would fit him. But um, when I saw this, I was like, no, we need to have something sparkly because it goes with the dragon's wings. I love the tail on it, if you can see it. It sticks up on his butt like right before where his tail is, so you can actually see it lay flat. It has little fins. And again, this hood doesn't fit him at all. And he's a pretty small dog, I would think that it would, but they kind of just sit like a hood on a hoodie would, if you're not wearing the actual hood. I don't know what cat would let you put this on them. It's really nice material, but aren't cats like finicky about wearing things? I don't know, I guess some cats are. If you have a cat that wears costumes, Send us a picture or leave it in the description or something. Tell us that you have a cat because that would be really cool. I want to see that. This costume, since it was a cat costume and it has less material on it, it's really light, was only $4, which I think is great because this is so cool. It feels like it's really nicely made also. Like it doesn't feel cheap for a costume. And I really like the little face on it. And he wore this all night, I guess, because he couldn't really feel like he was being restrained or anything, or he didn't have like weight on him, he didn't have a problem wearing this at all. So I think that's a great idea. If you get like a light costume that's not going to irritate your pet, especially if you're inside all night like we were, I didn't want them to overheat and feel uncomfortable and then, you know, want it taken off right away. I wanted to get some pictures and stuff, so. This is a great idea if you have a really small dog. Maybe look into cat costumes because they're very light, like you can see how thin this is. But they're actually really intricate. I love the detail on this one. It even has little gills. Okay, so by now you guys probably know I'm a little bit of a crazy dog lady. So this next item is just something that I wanted to see on my dog. It just looked really pretty and girly. I got this for Ella. Ella, um, Ella's a bit of a tomboy. She doesn't like dressing up as much. She will wear costumes and she doesn't put up a fuss. But she really loves getting dirty, she likes running around in the yard, she likes chasing after her brothers, like she wants to keep up with the boys. She doesn't want to be in a dress and have her hair done and things like that. So when I can get a dress that I think she'll wear, I do. I've gotten her a Christmas dress, um, she has a bunny dress that I think is really cute, it's got sparkles on it. But she doesn't wear them all the time, it's only for like pictures or if there's a holiday or something she'll wear them for like an hour or two. I don't make them wear outfits all the time, I wish I could but I don't think they put up with that. This next item is one of my favorites. This is actually on the clearance rack in PetSmart and it was down to $5, which I thought was incredible because when you see it, this is it. It is a beautiful little like floral spring dress and it actually feels like it has like tulle or something to like poof it out. And it has this great bow on it, I love the bow. And the material is like really satiny. So I thought this would be adorable for like springtime if we want to take pictures by flowers or something. I could put this in. It's almost like an Easter dress for an infant, but it's for a dog. And I love it so much. They had a wedding dress in this exact. It was almost like this. I don't think it had the bow. And it had a veil and it was only $5 and I'm really mad that I didn't get it. It was beautiful. It had these little flowers on it and it was just all white. But I guess that would be a little too crazy, maybe. She's not getting married anytime soon. These are her brothers. 
This dress is also from the Martha Stewart line, and she makes really great clothes for dogs, but they're really expensive. I mean, I know they're a little bit pricier because of the name on it, but when you can get them marked down, you definitely should. Check out the clearance racks in the aisle, and you'll be able to find like the dresses that are marked down and things like that. They had little polos for boy dogs and sweaters, and I really want to give them sweaters for winter because I think it's going to be a cold one this year, but I don't know if they'll wear them properly, you know. They humor me, and they wear them for a little bit, but then they want them taken off. Which is fine, I understand that. Okay, so that was our first ever pet haul. If you like these types of videos, please let us know. Um, leave us a comment, subscribe, like this video, and let us know what you want to see more of. Uh, we're always trying new things. We try to be a little creative sometimes. If you like seeing videos with the dogs in them, let us know and we can do more of those. I wanted to try the video that um, Jenna Marbles did with her dogs where she did the IQ test. I think that would be hilarious to try on these dogs because they range in, I mean, I think they're all smart. I don't think they're dumb dogs, but I think some of them would do better at the tasks than other dogs. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween. Bye. She's a Shih Tzu Lhasa Opta that just got out. <laughs> Hi! I'm doing a video about you. Go away. Oh, she listened. So the other day we went to Petco. Nope. This is so much harder by yourself. Oh my god. So the first... It's creaking. It's creaking already. Shih Tzu Lhasa Opta. Opta? Opta. Opta. Thought you missed cookie? A crookie? Do you want a crookie? Hi guys! So it's me, it's... Really? And we picked out a, cute, a few... Oh, I can't even do this anymore because you ruined everything! <coughs> oh, sorry.